Good morning, everybody. John Harris here, Managing Partner with Fortune Management. I want to take the opportunity to discuss a subject that has come up frequently um, over the last few weeks uh, pertaining to scheduling to goal um, or block scheduling, as, as many people know it. Uh, the misconception is, is that block scheduling is about production and collection. It's about revenue. Um, you know, we, we block our schedule because it makes us more productive. You know, it helps us make more money. Um, and true, those are some of the side effects. Those are some of the consequences, but that is not the intended purpose of block scheduling. Um, keep in mind that money is simply a consequence. It's a natural consequence of value. So if you deliver more value in your relationships with your patients, um, you're going to generate more money. People pay more. They pay it more consistently and they pay it more frequently for things that they value. Well, what do people value? What do your patients value? They want to, you know, they want to uh, save time. They want to save money and they want to avoid pain. And I know you want the same things for them. So why would we not, you know, uh, prioritize our schedule in a way that made what's important to our patients equally important to us? And you do that by block scheduling. So to give you a couple of examples, if you go to Walmart and buy a pack of Big Red and then go to Kangaroo and buy the same pack of Big Red, you're going to pay substantially more for the pack of Big Red at Kangaroo than you are for the pack at Walmart. And you're going to buy, you're going to pay it every day on your way to work. Um, and so, I mean, you're paying for what is convenient to you. Okay. People also value affordability. And so if, if I went to buy a house today and let's say it's a $200,000 house, um, and I wrote a check, then I'm $200,000 out of pocket. Um, and I pay $200,000 for that house. But for most people, $200,000 out of pocket is not affordable. That, that does not meet their rule for affordability. But $1,200 a month is affordable. So the bank came up with a great program called a mortgage that says, you know what, you really deserve that $200,000 house, but uh, you know, I also understand that $200,000 up front you know, is a little difficult for most people. So we've got this program to where you can, you can basically just pay us $1,200 a month and you can go ahead and have the house. Um, and so people pay substantially more. You look at the interest that they paid on that house over 20 year mortgage, it's insane. So people pay substantially more for what, for what is convenient and they pay substantially more for, for what is affordable. Um, and so, um, so, uh, that's what your patients want. They want convenience, they want affordability, and they want to avoid pain. So who is at a higher risk of spending more pain, or I'm sorry, spending more money, spending more time, and experiencing pain? A patient who needs a crown or a patient who needs a filling? The obvious answer is that the patient that needs a major procedure is at higher risk than a patient that needs a minor procedure. So that patient, that appointment is a priority over the lesser productive procedure. So I'm not doing it. I'm not blocking my schedule because it's more productive. I'm not blocking it because it's more money. I'm blocking it because it's what our patients want. It's because what they value. It's what's in the best interest of our customers. Uh, that's why I'm blocking my schedule that way. And the side effect is, is that it's going to reduce your objections, the objections you get to moving forward with treatment, because now we're making things more convenient, we're making things more affordable, we're helping people avoid, avoid pain, we're adding more value to that relationship, and patients will pay more for that, they'll pay more, more consistently, and more frequently. And the, the net result is an increase in production, collection, revenue, and hopefully you've got some kind of profit share bonus program in place, which means now it means that the team that is helping us assemble this schedule um, is now earning more money as well. I believe in the highest, having the highest paid dental professionals in the industry, um, but I also believe in really high demands. So having very high standards, very high expectations, and very high levels of compensation. Um, you know, you just, you got to be worth it. <laughs> so, uh, so I hope this helps clear up some of the confusion. Scheduling the goal block scheduling is not about money. Um, it's not about production and collection. Those are natural consequences of, of, of delivering more value in the same period of time by prioritizing in a way that meets the needs and the wants of your patients. Um, so if you have any questions about this, feel free to give me, feel free to give me a call, reach out to me, or I'm sorry, uh, not call, but message me on Facebook. Happy to field any questions uh, that, you, that you may have. Until next time.